Welcome back to the wettest channel on the internet and today when I left Miami it was sunny and bright and as soon as I get close to Fulada Beach BAM there goes mother nature she got us all wet so we're living up to our slogan and I wasn't planning to get wet but what can you do right and the thought did cross my mind to turn around and go back home but I said you know what you're not gonna fool me I know you're gonna stop within a few minutes because that's the way the Florida weather is one minute is beautiful and sunny and the next minute is a hurricane then back to beautiful plus a little bit of rain is not gonna hurt anybody and this is just a part of living in South Florida and like I said within 10 minutes it stopped and it started to clear up and just in time because we have reached for Lauderdale strip and just like me there's other people with the same idea because a little bit of rain is not gonna stop them from coming to the beach also they don't really have a choice so might as well take advantage of any little chance you get and we already did for Myers Beach if you want to see that video I'm gonna leave a link on the description below except for that one we did it a little different we did it on the jet skis and today we're doing this one on the truck but i did bring my bike so we're gonna ride what we're gonna do right now is look for a parking spot and i like what the city of forlado did by placing the barricades along the road and designated crosswalks so people don't get hit by the cars and they also assigned a crossing guard making you feel that you're right back at school but it is college spring break guys so we made it just for you and do my job right oh well, i'm doing it today because i got caught in the rain coming here and i thought it was going to be really bad but actually there's still people here getting wet and joining the beach so we already showed you uh fort myers now we're going to show you fort lauderdale beach and i'm not really sure if i'm going to get to miami but i'll try all right so let's go with the show Right now we're sitting in the world famous beach place and this is like a three-story plaza that has shops restaurants and lounges and while you're catching lunch or shopping you can look over the beautiful beach And well, like you're seeing, the weather's getting better and that's making the spring breakers come out of their room and enjoy the day at Folaldo Beach. And we're gonna keep walking around and see how much fun everybody's having in the sun.
So we saw the streets, the boardwalk, and the clubs. But now we're gonna jump on the sand and see what the sunbathers are doing. And mind you, right now it's about 12 o'clock in the afternoon. So what that means, the later it gets, the more people come. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of them went to sleep really late. But the good thing about here, you have everything in walking distance. You have nightclubs, you have restaurants, you have your apartment. And the best part, the beach is right across the street. So if you like to party hard, this is an ideal place because you don't really have to drive. And talking about party, you guys better get ready because I went to the biggest block party in Miami over the weekend and I got to hang out with another Miami YouTuber. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know who exactly where I was at and who I was with. So that's what I say. Make sure to follow me on Instagram for daily and local activities. But let's go back to Spring Break action in Florida Beach. Oh, it looks like a lot of people are having fun in the sun and how many people saw the throwback video from spring break of last year and if you did what do you think there was more people last year or this year let me know in the comments below and i do have to say they're pretty brave because the water temperature is still in the low 70s I also noticed there was like five different social media channels here also recording and some were interviewing the spring breakers. So guys, well, how am I doing with the thumbnails and the videos? Because I'm trying to keep everyone happy, especially the jealous wives. But you know what? You guys are forgetting the main idea of YouTube. The thing is, this is just entertainment. And it's for those people that they can't make it to the beach on the weekends. Or you want to check out different places without going. The cool thing is you can go many different places without leaving your living room or your bedroom. For those people that like to watch TV before going to sleep. But, after, but I do have to say that my percentage of women subscribers has gone up and that's a good thing because all i'm trying to do is entertain everyone if so if you're a new lady watching make sure you share the content with your friends boys or girls
guys, I've been here four and a half hours. And I know it's a short video, but yep, it takes a lot of time to make a video. And then I have to go home and edit it. And that takes me six to eight hours. And the reason why is because I have to look through the, all the footage and make sure that everything is nice and neat. Plus, sometimes I get some bad audio that I don't want to put, like curse words or copyright music. So basically, I have to watch and listen through the whole thing and then pick the good parts and edit the bad parts and then make the little story but it's okay because that's the way i entertain myself and that is the first part of the process the second part of the entertainment for myself is read you guys' comments and thanks for the good ones and sorry for the bad ones